Welcome to MoCo. My name is Stephanie Palomino. Homes getting smarter and smarter, but there is a lot of danger with this also. Like when we think about Mr. Robot when the house was completely get hacked. So thinking about fashion tech, I don't know if I feel so comfortable by the idea that my sweater can get hacked. So Lisa, uh, is there real danger? Yes, of course. Um, I mean, you have like a lot of light and you have a lot of shadow, right? And we just have to be very conscious about it. Um, with technology enhanced clothing, um, there are a lot of possibilities to protect yourself, um, uh, to uh, make sure that like your kids are safe, um, to adding a function to make your life more comfortable. But also at the same time, there's a possibility that, that you give uh, other people access to it. and. Um, 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 we at least we have to start talking about it, what the possibilities can be on the good side and on the dark side. <laughs> so IoT is the Internet of Things, it's the things are getting more and more intelligent. What is fashion tech, IoT, how is your definition of it? Well, I mean, in Internet of Things, that means like we make things intelligent. So in that case, um, also making clothes smarter, because at the moment we're wearing dumb clothes. Um, <laughs> Uh, of course, it's it's a part of the IoT movement, right? I mean, it's you can act like you have like your jacket talks with the washing machine. How convenient, right? Um, the nice thing, however, in fashion and technology is you can also make it invisible, and you also can make it pretty. Really good user interface design. And sometimes technology forgets that we don't want to look like robots or like circus ponies, yeah. right? We want to look normal and well and good. And uh, but I don't want to make a compromise that I can also look smart um, and enhance my life. Mm. So with fashion it's something extremely personal and a lot of data can be collected through that. So what would be a, like a worst case scenario? Oh, um, worst case is actually, and it's technology wise already possible, is like for instance, you know, you're diabetic, you go to the supermarket and buy a box of chocolates and uh, immediately your health insurance cancels on you because you shouldn't eat chocolates when you're diabetic. Um, uh, uh, your employers uh, can, can track you everywhere uh, because you haven't spent, maybe you've spent too much time between the toilets, the, uh, the, the smoke, smoker's corner and the kitchen. Um, so uh, there, there are a lot of things uh, which really, really can go wrong. So you love the fashion technology business, so, but and you also want to keep the, the customers safe. So what do you have to keep in mind to keep them safe? Well, um, I think the most important thing is that the person who is wearing the, the, the product is in charge of whatever happens. Um, the problem with variables, especially with fitness trackers, is that we had like data issues, like where the data is going to, um, if you read the terms and conditions. So we have to be like very open and say like, this is what's going to happen when you buy this, when you wear it. And if it is, it collects data, it belongs to you. And we have to ask, ask for permission if you want to share it to somebody else. So control is very important. This gives me a very good feeling to be here close in the future and that people are creating this conscience. Thank you for having you here and good luck with your projects. Thank you for watching and see you soon.